So Daniel was taken up out the den, and no matter of hurt, somebody shout, no matter of hurt. No matter of hurt, no matter of hurt was found upon him because, here's the shout, because he believed in his God. Yeah. You ought to just ask somebody, do you believe God? Do you believe God? Your situation looks impossible, but do you believe God? Yeah, your, your circumstance seems bigger than you and harder than you can handle, but do you believe God? That it was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Would you look at the neighbor and help me announce my text this morning? Tell a neighbor, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> That was the wrong day. They didn't get it already. Tell the right neighbor. Tell the neighbor. I prophesy to your future. The lion sleeps tonight. I need you to celebrate Jesus right now like you believe. The word of the Lord. Come on. I don't hear you. Open up your mouth. Father, speak to us as only you can. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The lion sleeps tonight. Mm. As students of the Word of God and anyone having any exposure to the Word of God at all, none of us are unfamiliar with this story of a young man by the name of Daniel. It is this Daniel that emerges as one that is extremely gifted by God. He's a young man. Since we're in a meeting today, I might as well make it relevant to you. He was a young man. He was a man that God had raised up. And he would model what it means for a man's gift to make room for him. And to bring him before great men. Daniel reminds me of a few others in scripture like Joseph who was gifted to dream. You've heard of Joseph or even the three Hebrew boys right here in the book of Daniel where they were given the ability um, to achieve a certain place of notoriety. They were, uh -huh. they were, they were given the gift to, uh, to speak to the king Nebuchadnezzar. They, yeah. they had all kinds of access to high men in high places. However, these individuals, just like Daniel, would soon learn uh, that corporate elevation always comes with a risk when you try to serve God. Yeah. I wish I had somebody here. Uh, yes, I understand. It's, it's okay for us to want to be successful. It's okay for us uh, to want to make money. I don't want to discourage that uh, because it is, it is necessary in this day. If you want to be successful, there's a lot of opportunities at this generation's disposal that perhaps our forefathers had not seen. But we've got to understand that there will always be a presentation of temptation or compromise when we have decided to live for God. Uh -huh. All right? uh, and so if you're not careful, you will encounter important people who will only give you access into important places when you share their perspective. Well, I wish I could preach here today because some of us, uh, we, 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 we try to go up to another level, whether it be in-house or outside in the secular community, uh, but we run into that wall of compromise. We run into that place where we're saying, well, Lord, I trust you, I serve you, I believe you, I love you, uh, but this opportunity is so good. I, I've got to seize this moment. I've got to seize this opportunity. Uh, but you've got to understand that as Daniel did in our text, Daniel, though he was accessing a, a great place of notoriety, he knew that he had to guard the gift God gave him. Yeah. He had to guard the grace that God had put on his life because uh, when you are saved by God, when you are delivered by God, every effort that God allows you to achieve is to complement the grace of God on your life. Uh, Lord, I just you bring it down in simple terms. Uh, uh, Jesus told the disciples, it's not for you to know the times nor the seasons on uh, which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye yeah. shall be witnesses unto me. You know, when's the last time that you told somebody about Jesus in a setting that was unfamiliar? Oh, when's the last time that you were not ashamed of the power of Jesus Christ outside of the four walls of the church? I wonder if there's anybody in the room today that says, silver and gold have I not. Yeah. And the few that I have, I can't even offer them. It's not worth much, but such as I have, these little shabby rags uh, that God has blessed me to at least keep a hold of, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus. I'm trying to behave, but I feel Jesus in the room in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. You know, sometimes we often use that text meaning, uh, rise up into a healed place, your bodily uh, condition rising up, but I feel that to be even figurative. 
but when he said rise up and walk, he even said that once you tap into the power of Jesus, it gives you the ability to elevate with the right way. Oh Lord, have mercy. You, you want to climb up the corporate ladder, brother. You want to be successful and you want to be blessed. You want uh, to have a lavish lifestyle. The only way you can maintain what you receive is when you realize who the source is. Lord, oh, for the Bible saying uh, that it is of the Lord's mercy to our culture that we are not consumed, but great is his faithfulness. Oh, well, there's anybody that's been saying any length of time that can say from that point until now, God has proven himself to be faithful. God has proven himself to be true. God has proven himself even when I didn't have everything no one. He was my shepherd and my shepherd for a lot for anything. Yeah. 
is understanding the nature of God in us. Yeah. And so we must see here now what the song is saying. Yeah. Well, I heard it when he said, enter in the book of Psalms. Yeah. Blessed is the man yeah. that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yeah. but standeth in a way of sinners. Yeah. No seed of the sinner and no seed of the scornful. Yeah. But here goes his delight. Yeah. It's in the law of the Lord. Yeah. But you can remember that yeah. when you're walking right. Yeah. Yeah. 
just say you said it first. Yeah. You said God was going to do it. Yeah. You didn't think God would yeah. be a man that he should not. Yeah. You thought that God would not come to my rescue. Yeah. But I might as well give you a throwback word. Yeah. Here comes Superman. Yeah. Lord have mercy Jesus. Yeah. Oh God still. Yeah. Was determined to save me. Yeah. Out of the snare. Yeah. God was determined. Yeah. To give me a break. Yeah. And so I just do now. Yeah. What it took for me to get in this situation. Yeah. I do what it took. Yeah. Because that reminds me. Yeah. Of Paul and Silas. Yeah. But the Bible says the Paul and Silas. Yeah. They were casting out devils. Yeah. They laid hands on the woman. Yeah. With an evil spirit. Yeah. And they cast out the spirit of divination. Yeah. Thus the king. Yeah. And the government throw him. Yeah. Into the prison. Yeah. Because of their anointing. Yeah. Because of the spirits yeah, that they had drove out. Yeah, and so it is with that. Yeah, they cast them into a lion's den. Yeah, because of how we serve God. Yeah, and I might as well bring it home here. Yeah, because there's a believer in the room this morning. Yeah, that's going through hell and high water. Yeah, because of what God told you. Yeah, you're going through pain. Yeah, and suffering. Yeah, you're trying to make ends meet. Yeah, uh, but it's all because yeah, you prayed. Yeah, Sang praises to call yeah. but you ought to be like David yeah. instead of wallowing in song yeah. and saying, Woe is me. Yeah. You got to make it up in your mind. Yeah. I will bless the Lord yeah. at all times. Yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost in here yeah. and His praises yeah. shall continually yeah. be in my mouth. Yeah. I can't sit the pain these bills out, but I'm going to bless the Lord. Yeah. I children, yeah. I still acting out, yeah. but I'm going to bless the Lord, yeah. they don't understand the call of my life, yeah. but I'm going to bless the Lord, yeah. they're telling me it might be cancer, yeah. but I'm going to bless the Lord, yeah. I need somebody in the room this morning, yeah. that's got a situation yeah. that does not merit yeah. your praise, yeah. to praise God, yeah. inspire me, yeah. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, yeah. to get on your Yeah, the father who fussed 
lies. Yeah. I want you to grab hands. Yeah. Of course, I'm sanctuary. Yeah. We're getting out of here. Yeah. I know you got reservations. Yeah. At the Montgomery Air. Yeah. But we got a call. Yeah. Grab somebody. Yeah. By the hand. Yeah. And tell them, neighbor. Yeah. This praise yeah. is to pull you out yeah. of that low place. Yeah. Tell them, neighbor. Yeah. God sold you. Yeah. Crying those tears. Yeah. God sold you. Yeah.